Max Lang? Owen White. Uh, here with the vac the April vacation edition of Nostal News. Are you going anywhere over the break, Owen? No, unfortunately not. I'm staying here on Cape Cod, just playing some soccer. Yeah. Wow. That sounds excellent. Mm. I'm going to be going to St. Charles, Missouri to spend some time with the boys. Anywho, on to our lineup. Speaking of vacation plans, we'll be having a special report on just that with Caitlin Smith and Julia Bowen. Uh, next up, there's going to be an interview with High Five student Rebecca Pranga for her track and field exploits. And as per usual, we'll have Jeremiah Pranga and Leah Rodriguez in for sports with Camden Fixter on things to do. Uh, Luke Meehan. We'll be doing us our, our, our talent search, and uh, Kai, Kai Covell will be on a special report on a thrift shop that is sponsored by our, our NASA Green Club. club. Uh, coming in like an 80 mile per hour fastball, it's Eli Patrick with Around the World. For our health tip this week, uh, Cole Jacket will be telling us all about that sweet, sweet protein. And caboosing our program is Maxwell Moran uh, with a segment on Mr. Luke Simpson's uh, class on testing plankton. Under the announcements with Owen White. Okay, and now for the announcements. <coughs> Attention sophomores, juniors, and seniors. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery is coming to the school on April 8th, or April 25th, starting at 8.35 to 11.30. All, all branches are coming to use this test to determine placement in their organization. Congrats to Ben Nagel, Noah Zindidi, and Matt Campbell for winning their movie, Get Greener, One Step at a Time. And also, Nicholas Quads Quanstorm, Wyatt Gaynor, Richard Ramsey, and Sam Zipro with their movie, Heal the World. The book and toy drive is still going on until April 25th. Drop off any new donations to drop off boxes around campus. Finally, we will have spring break from April 14th to 19th. Thank you. This has been Max Lang. And Owen White. On and Austin News. Hi, I'm Julia Boland. And I'm Kaylin Smith. Today's top story is going to be interviewing Nauset High Schoolers about their plans during the upcoming spring break. Some students and even teachers might be traveling around the world and even abroad, while others will find fun staying here. Let's go see what their plans are. Hi, I'm here with Winslow. Uh, what are you doing during April vacation? I'm going to go on a cruise, hang out with friends, and eat stuff. Nice. Where yeah. are you going to go on a cruise to? I'm going to the Bahamas. That's nice. Thank you. I'm now here with Kai and Cole. Uh, what are you guys doing over vacation? Um, I'm going to Vermont with my dad for a couple of days. Nice. What are you going to do there? Uh, we have to work on our house. Oh, that's cool. Cool. I'm going to start working at my job in Ben and Jerry's um, during vacation. Which Ben and Jerry's is it? It is the one in East Ham. That's fun. Thanks, guys. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name's Jake. What are you doing over vacation? I'm working my butt off to get some extra money. Oh, where do you work? I work at Orleans Cycle. Oh, that's cool. Um, I hope you have a good vacation. Yeah, is that all you. your plans? Yeah. Solid. Um, I'm here with Mr. Penn today. Um, I'll be asking him what he's doing over vacation. So hopefully it's going to be good weather. Um, first of all, on Monday, I'm going to go to the Boston Marathon because my goddaughter and my niece is running it. Really? So I'm going to go up in my, my it's my brother's uh, daughter. So he's coming into town with his family. So we're all going to go up and watch her run the marathon, and her husband's going to run it. So that's one day. Uh, hopefully play some golf, if the yeah. weather's good enough during that time. And lastly, uh, I'm working with Dr. Elsasser during April vacation to kind of build the master schedule for our school for next year. So he's pretty adept at scheduling, it's one of his strong points, so I'm really looking forward to working with him and yeah. figuring out how he's going to schedule the whole I'm excited to see how that turns out too. Yeah, yeah. so that's what we're going to do during April vacation. That sounds And hopefully see my two grandsons. That would be a perfect week, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Chris. Um, Chris, what are your plans over break? Uh, over break, I'm going to New York. Oh, what are you doing in New York? I'm visiting family and seeing the city. Nice. Oh, do you have any sports? Do I play sports? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't have any sports over vacation, uh, but so that's good. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. 
Hi, I'm Julia, and you are? Ooh, Kevin Amaro. And what are you doing over vacation? Um, over break, I'm going up to Vermont in East Corinth with my family and a few of my friends. Oh, that's fun. What are you going to do there? Uh, my family owns a bunch of ATVs, so we'll probably ride those a little bit, and then just hang out and have fun. That's nice. Uh, are you doing anything else? No, not besides Whoa. that. Um, I'm here with Jackson. What are you doing over break? Uh, I'm going to Poland. Oh, really? <laughs> what part of Poland? Uh, Krakow. Oh, who are you going with? The SWS. That's sick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Maybe I will. Uh, I come back for a little vacation, so I don't really have anything else for me. That's fun. I hope you have a good vacation. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I'm here with... Kaya. What are you doing on your vacation? I'm hanging out with my friends. Oh, <laughs> like who? No. Um, like Chip and Devin <laughs> and here, Owen. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Are fun. you going anywhere? No. Okay. I hope you have fun with that. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I'm here with Sean. Um, what are you doing for vacation? I'm doing nothing for vacation. I'm staying home. I want to take as much time as possible to sleep, eat, and just be me. Do you not have lacrosse? I do have lacrosse, but I mean, like, I only go to the practices, but when I'm not there, I like to enjoy my time. Nice. <laughs> um, we're here with Isabel today. Hello. <laughs> Isabel, what are you doing over vacation? I'm going to college for the week. With who? My sisters. Nice. What That's fun. Are you going to? I'm going to Ithaca in Cornell. Thanks for watching Things to Do. I'm Caitlin Smith. And I'm Julia Bullen. Hope everyone has a great vacation. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Eli Patrick, and welcome to this week's Around the World News. This past Monday, the United States has temporarily withdrawn some of its forces from Libya due to security conditions on the ground. A top military official has said, a Libyan commander's forces have been advancing toward the capital of Tripoli and has clashed with rival militias that riddle the path to the capital. Then... A fossil of a new four-legged whale species has been discovered. The newly discovered species turned up in Playa Media Luna, which is a dry coastal region of Peru. The jaw bones and teeth pegged it as an ancient cetacean, which means it was a member of the whale family. Dubbed Paragocetus pacificus, which means the traveling whale that reached the Pacific Ocean, had been estimated to be 42.6 million years old. It's the oldest whale skeleton found in the New World and New Age. Though some fossilized whale teeth from North America may have been be, be able, excuse me, to be even older. Then next, a new, a believed to be new orca whale species was discovered 60 miles off the coast of Chile, in an area known for the world's worst weather. The newfound orca, known as the Type D or Subantarctic Killer Whale, has a unique appearance: a rounded head, pointed dorsal fin, and a small eye patch and a slightly red tint to its skin, unlike the normal, typical black orca. No evidence shows that the whales had existed previously, besides some f from fisherman tales and amateur photographs, but until now, there are two to three videos online that you can find yourself these new species of whales. And well, my name's Eli Patrick, and that's all the Around the World news I have for you today, and enjoy the rest of the episode. Hi, I'm Emma Burke, and I'm here with this week's High Five student, Rebecca Pringa. She is a junior, and she is being recognized for her winning four events in her most recent track meet against Barnstable. The events that she won were the long jump, the 400, the triple jump, and then the 400 relay. She led the team in points. So, Rebecca, what type of things have you done to train for these great wins of yours? Um, I do a lot of like practice jumping for the jumping events and a lot of like repeat like 200s and 300s for my 400. That's cool. So do you do that like in practice every day? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, was the competition during your meet tough? It wasn't that tough. I don't want to say like bunch was not that great, but it could have been harder. Are you proud of your accomplishments? Yes, I'm very proud. <laughs> That's good. You should be proud. Um, for those people who don't know, what is the triple jump? It's like three jumps. So for me, I like to start on my left foot, so I'll jump from my left to my left, then left to right, and then right into the pit. Mm -hmm. So is it basically just the long jump, but it's more distance? Yeah, it's like three jumps instead of one. What 
What are your best scores in long plus triple jump? Uh, my best long jump is 15 feet 5 inches, and my best triple jump is 31 feet 9 inches. That's impressive. Wow. Um, do you have a goal for the 400 this year? My goal for the 400 is probably to do under 62 seconds because that was my best from last year. Really? Mm -hmm. Um, so switching gears, what are some of your best classes and your favorite subjects in school? My favorite subject in school is probably science, and my favorite class right now is AP Bio. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, well, congratulations, Rebecca. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jeremiah Franga. And I'm Leo Rodriguez, and this is NASA Sports. Boys track. The boys track team opened the season edging uh, Barnstable in the meet. And they went down uh, to the final as Aiden Hanville scored the second place in the discuss, in the discuss uh, provided the winning margin with a score of 71 to 65. Nosset Barley pulled uh, off the tough win. Nosset girls track team opened their season with a big win over Burnstable on the road. Rebecca Pranga won the long jump, triple jump, 400 meters, and was part of a 4x4 four four meter relay to lead all scores. The NASA girls won all, every event but one with a score of 101 to 35. Boys lacrosse. The NASA boys lacrosse team beat uh, St. John Paul High School on Monday, April 1st in Sandwich. NASA squeaked uh, out the 8 to 7 win thanks to Luke uh, Ventimiglia, who had a hat trick. Other uh, goals were scored by Jack Judge, uh, Manson Cornell, uh, Gordon Winkler, Tyler, and Tyler Hoffman. Freshman uh, Henry Gildehouse had the win in that. Unfortunately, the boys uh, fell to Barnstable on April 6th when uh, they traveled to Hyannis and lost 14 to 6. Despite the loss, Nasek got a solid performance by Tyler Goodwe, Chase Holm, uh, Jack Hervasini, and Mansi Cornell. The Nasek girls lacrosse team had a great victory on Saturday, April 6th in Plymouth. The Warriors led by Maddie Daly with seven goals as they beat Plymouth 15 to 9. Players doing well were Paisley Gavin, Melissa Edney, Mal Fleming, and Bella White. Softball. The girls' softball team scored uh, off the season with a nice win against St. John Paul uh, on April 3rd. The Warriors won 13 to 0 in Hyannis, and pitcher Haley Richardson earned the no hitter for Nosset. Uh, the girls were kept busy. As the weekend went on, and uh, they had two back-to-back uh, -back games, April 5th and April 6th. Unfortunately, the girls lost both games. On April 5th, they lost uh, to Marshfield 13-0, and they lost again to Ashland High uh, School on uh, April 6th, 3-0. The Nosset baseball team beat Marshfield 2-1 in the home opener in Northeast Ham, April 5th. Chris Beach was on the mound for the first several innings while Curtis Thomas closed the game. Beach struck out eight in the first four innings, setting the stage for the exciting win. Thomas struck out one and did not allow a hit, run, or walk in the last three innings. Also playing well for the Warriors was Hunter Edelbach and John Pontius. Sailing. Uh, while the Nasser lost uh, to four teams, they beat uh, sa uh, Sandwich 2-0. to zero. Skipper Liam Lawless and crew Michaela Galazzi were strong. Thanks, I'm Jeremiah Franga. And this is Leo Rodriguez. And this was NASA Sports. Hello there, I'm Cam the Victor here with this week's edition of Things to Do. We'll start off with the movies. The first movie I recommend is Hotel Mumbai. It's a rated R film and it runs 125 minutes. It has received three stars by many critics, including Tim Miller from the Cape Cod Times. The movie plot tells the story surrounding the 2008 terror attack in Mumbai. It's a movie with historic interest and promises to be action-packed as it follows a chief and kitchen worker trying to brace the elements of gunfire and violence to save the hotel guest. The cast includes Del Patel, Army Hammer, and Jason Isaac. The next film I recommend is Gloria Bell, which is a romantic comedy and drama all in one. It stars Julian Moore 
as a divorced woman who lives in L.A. She loves to dance and is often in search of romance while frequently visiting the local discos. If you're a fan of disco music and the a actress Julie Moore, this movie is for you. It has received three stars, so it's probably worth the look. And the final film is Dumbo. This is a fantasy movie directed by the artistic director Tim Burton. Everyone knows the story of a flying baby elephant that has first hit theaters back in 1941. With the current cast of actors such as Colin Farrell, Alan Arkins, Eva Green, Danny DeVito, and Michael Keaton, it's sure to be a fun movie to see in 2019. But Tim Miller did give it two stars, so, which means you'll have to decide for yourself if it's going to be a sink or a swim movie. And now that that's been taken care of, let's go take a look at some activities. Spring break is here, and that means the students are on vacation. There are a few things to do on Cape Cod, which includes climb the Pilgrim Monument in Provincetown, which is now open. And you can see the spectacular vi views if you're willing to climb all the way to the top, though. While you're in town, stop by hey, to the local shops. They are starting to open for the season, and it's nice to support the local shop owners in the local community. Some favorite restaurants include The Muse, Sauro and Sal, and Spiritus Pizza. For those who want a bit of an education, I suggest you go to the Museum of Natural History in Brewster. It has many live exhibits and shows, plus a working trail or a walking trail with beautiful views of the bay. And finally, if you, you enjoy the outside, Fort Hill in East Ham has more great walking trails. The Red Maple Swamp Trail is, is really pretty, and you might even see some wildlife such as deer, rabbits, and hawks. And you will also get great views of the Coast Guard Beach in East Ham and Nossip Beach in Orleans. So, with that being said, this, this has been Camden Victor and with this week's edition of Things to Do. Thank you. I'm Kai Covell, here with Mr. Simpson, the Green Club teacher, and this is this week's special report. The Green Club's new project is called Nasa Green Threads. It's basically an exchange program where students can bring their old clothing and donate it here, and then the Green Club will do a little thrift shop in the courtyard. You can bring your clothes to Mr. Simpson's room in E101 or Mr. Craven's room in C108. All proceeds from the strip shop will go directly to the Green Club at Nosset High School. So, who came up with this idea? I think Mr. Craven came up with the idea. He's the other uh, Green Club advisor. Um, but we all we th all thought it was a great idea as soon as we heard it and uh, got to work right away. Uh, how will this program work? Well, um, students bring in, you know, used or um, you know, clothes that they don't need anymore or don't want that are lightly used. Uh, they drop them off here. The Green Club inventories them, goes through them, photographs them, and uh, puts them online. So we kind of have a, an online catalog that everybody can browse through. Okay. Um, what will the funds from this be used for? Uh, right now we're hoping to use the funds to um, purchase uh, metal silverware for the cafeteria so we can move away from single-use plastic silverware. Mm. Um, what do you think some of the costs for the clothing will be? Uh, there's some really nice stuff, actually. Um, so I, I think we've agreed to cap that off at, at you know, 20 or $30, but most of the items are you know, between 4 and $10, I would say. And then when will the pop-up shop in the courtyard be started? Uh, we're just waiting for some nice weather for that. But um, everything is online. It's on the Green Club. Uh, the um, Green Club started a, a new Instagram page, Nosset Green Threads, and they can see all the items on there. And from there, there's a link to a website where, uh, if you want to order the clothes, you can do that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Kai Cabell, and that was this week's special report. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.
Okay, I'm Calvin Perry, here with your College Notebook. Today we'll be talking about UMass Dartmouth. UMass Dartmouth is in North Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Do you know it is only one hour away from Cape Cod? And it is also only four miles away from New Bedford. UMass has a great nursing program, and UMass Dartmouth is fairly close to Buzzards Bay. Besides nursing, here are some of the other majors. Our business management, marketing, health, engineering, and psychology. What's nice about UMass Dartmouth is that you can pay in-state tuition, which is only $12,000. And it's a Division III college, which means kids can join an athletic team. Here are some of the sports they offer at UMass Dartmouth. Lacrosse, swimming, football, hockey, baseball, and basketball. Our very own student, Bethy Terabokas, will be going there this fall. She tells us she will study nursing and is excited to join her sister that goes there. She said there is a lot of shopping nearby and plenty of things to do. She recommends it to everybody. Finally, you guys can join the 6,800 undergraduates from 39 different states and 41 different countries. 85% of the students who apply for finan financial aid receive it. This has been your College Notebook. I'm Callum Perry. See you next time, and hope you consider going to UMass Dartmouth. Hello there, I'm Camden Victor, here with this week's edition of the Student Council Report. To start off, the Student Council is hosting yet another Faculty Friday, it, which is to show the students appreciation to the teachers and staff of our high school. Their students will provide breakfast and other fun foods for the faculty to mingle with other faculty, in which some might have never met before. The date of the Faculty Friday and how to sign up is still unknown, so please stay tuned. In other words, we would also like to thank the Student Council for sponsoring this year's Rock the Stage, which took place on Friday, April 5th. This event is one of Student Council's oldest traditions here at Nauset, where our talented students perform at the event. There were about 15 acts that were in the show, and some included myself, doing a DJ mix to start off the day, singing by Connor Boucher and Christina Reed, piano playing by Sam Carpenter, and an outstanding rock band making the crowd go wild. All in all, Rock the Stage was amazing and the student council should be very proud of themselves for putting on such a spectacular show. With that being said, this has been our this week's edition of the Student Council Report. I'm Cam DeVictor, and have a good day. Hello, I'm Cole Jacket with the health tip of the day. Today I will be talking about protein and why you should be incorporating it into your diet. Protein is a great way to build muscle and lose weight. It's one of the fundamental building blocks of the body and is a necessary factor in one's diet. According to Healthline.com, the recommended daily intake of protein may not be enough for the average individual. Engaging in athletic activities and working out requires an increased amount of protein levels throughout the day. When working out, muscles are broken down, and in order to strengthen them, amino acids, which are found in protein, repair them. Products like protein powder offer an easy way to incorporate protein into the diet, but can be expensive. Some examples of foods that contain high amounts of protein are eggs, fish, dairy products, meats, almonds, and beans. So whether or not you go to the gym or play a sport, protein is a necessary factor in your diet. It's found in lots of delicious foods and can help you with healing your body. This has been Cold Jacket with the health tip of the day. Stay healthy. Hello, this is Matt Moran here with this week's extra story. Today we will be going into Mr. Simpson's room to check out the plankton lab. Let's go take a look, shall we? We are learning about how, um, well, what plankton do and how they just float through the water. And so what we're doing here is we're trying to create um, a little model of a plankton that um, will sink to the um, bottom of the tank the slowest to kind of mimic how plankton move slowly in the water and aren't sinking too fast but aren't floating to the surface where they may be caught by predators. In this lab, 
what have you been learning today? Um, so we've been learning about plankton and different kinds of um, animals and organisms that live in the ocean and how they react and how some swim and how some are more passive in the currents. Is there anything you can, is there anything you can inform the viewers about this lab? Um, it's harder than it seems. It takes a lot of testing in order to get kind of the perfect buoyancy. Thanks for the interview.